When people think of endangered animals, images of fluffy pandas munching on bamboo in Asian forests or hulking great rhinos trudling across African plains usually spring to mind. But Europe is also home to many species that are threatened as a result of hunting, intensive agriculture, pollution, and climate change. Now, major efforts are underway to rewild and reverse ecological destruction to bring back lost or dwindling animals. Many endangered or disappearing species are being reintroduced or boosted by organizations like Rewilding Europe, which was founded in 2011, with the goal of rewilding 1 million hectares on the continent by 2020. They believe that making Europe a wilder place will benefit people and ecosystems. In this video, we'll be looking at six species making a comeback in Europe. Before we begin, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. European Bison Many people connect bison with wide, open spaces of North America, where the animals used to roam in their tens of millions before being hunted near extinction. But bison also exist in Europe. After the Ice Age, man hunted the bison so intensively that it was forced into the most remote corners of Europe. The last wild animals were killed by soldiers and poachers during World War I and the Russian Revolution. The last wild bison in Europe died in Poland in 1919, while the last wild bison in the Russian Caucasus died in 1927. The species only survived thanks to 54 animals that were kept in different zoos, originating from only 12 founder animals. In 1954, the first bison were released back into the wild in the Białowieża forest in Poland, followed by reintroductions in several other countries. Thanks to the work of many organizations, zoos and breeding centers, scientists, and individuals, the bison was rescued from extinction. However, the species is still in great danger and is listed as near-threatened on the IUCN Red List. The main problem is that too few areas across Europe are open to receiving bison for reintroduction, which is often due to misconceptions about the animal. There is now a growing realization that European bison prefer to inhabit mixed landscapes of open grassland and forests. This, coupled with the evidence to show that they can live in relatively compact, diverse habitats alongside other herbivores such as horses and cattle, means that far more European sites can now be considered suitable for bison reintroduction. Vulture Vultures are perhaps the most iconic examples of European scavengers. The sight of these majestic birds soaring overhead on thermals or feeding at a carcass can be truly captivating. Two centuries ago, Egyptian, bearded, cinereus, and griffin vultures were among the most common breeding bird species in Central and Southern Europe. Yet, a decreasing availability of food, coupled with habitat loss, persecution, and poisoning saw vultures disappear from most European countries. At their lowest point, in the 1960s, there were only 2,000 pairs of griffin vultures and 200 pairs of cinereus vultures left in Spain. Thanks to reintroduction and species protection, European vulture populations are now slowly but steadily recovering. In many regions, the spectacular sight of vultures soaring through the sky has once again become a common sight. Vultures perform an essential role in nature. As the only land-based vertebrates that can survive solely on scavenging, vultures are crucial in maintaining nature's balance, rapidly cleaning up and recycling the bodies of dead animals. Because they can quickly devour large amounts of flesh and their stomach acids neutralize pathogens, they may help limit the spread of bacteria and diseases such as anthrax and rabies. Wild Horse before humans domesticated the horse, wild herds galloped across Europe unfettered. The last European horse is thought to have died out around 1909. While the original wild steeds are gone, many horse breeds today still carry the same genetic material. It would take generations, but these horses could adapt to living in the wild again, say conservationists. Wild horses play a crucial role in shaping natural habitats, from grazing through to trampling, wallowing, 
and scenting. Their influence benefits a multitude of species. Horses love coarser grasses and herbs. As bulk grazers, they will break up tussocky grasslands to form sward mosaics with characteristic and species-rich short sword lawns. This fosters and maintains diverse communities of grasses and wildflowers. Lynx Of the four species of lynx that exist globally, two are found in Europe, the Eurasian lynx and its cousin, the smaller, more brightly colored Iberian lynx, which is now confined to southern Spain and Portugal, with the characteristically bobbed tail spotted coat, long legs, and a muscular body. These solitary, stealthy predators avoid humans and typically hunt at night, so they are rarely seen. Internationally eradicated from many parts of Europe, the Eurasian lynx was considered extinct in nearly the whole of Central Europe for 200 years. Since the 1970s, however, it has been reintroduced to several European countries. Successful reintroduction into appropriate habitats relies strongly on acceptance by the general public. There are now thought to be around 9,000 to 10,000 Eurasian lynx in Europe. Thanks to a captive breeding program, the Iberian lynx has become one of Europeans' conservation's greatest success stories, with numbers in the wild up from just 94 in 2002 to nearly 600 today. This increasing population, which extends across 1,500 square kilometers, is recolonizing new territory. With recent sightings in Toledo, Badajoz, and Ciudad Real, further Iberian lynx conservation action is still needed, involving ongoing efforts to recover prey populations, especially European rabbits, enhance habitat quality and connectivity, and release lynx in new areas to connect populations. Wolf There are five subspecies of wolf found in Europe, of which the Eurasian wolf is the most widespread. On average, it weighs around 40 kilograms, with relatively short and coarse tawny fur. Many Eurasian wolf populations are forced to subsist largely on livestock and rubbish in human-dominated areas. The wild ungulates such as moose, red deer, roe deer, and wild boar are still the most important food sources in Russia and Eastern Europe. In some areas of Europe, there have always been stable populations of this gray wolf subspecies, but a long history of hunting and persecution meant that by the first half of the 20th century, the animal had disappeared from most Western European countries. In the second half of the 20th century, opinions on wolves began to change, and the animal is now protected in most European countries. Spreading outward from strongholds in Poland and the Carpathians, Eurasian wolf packs and individuals have now been spotted as far west as the Netherlands, Belgium, and Luxembourg. In total, the gray wolf population in Europe is estimated to be around 12,000 in 28 countries. The wolf is a so-called apex predator and plays a key role in European ecosystems. As a keystone species, wolves have both a direct and indirect impact on prey populations. Besides direct predation, wolves affect the behavior of their prey through the so-called ecology of fear, meaning the presence of a predator also induces behavioral and psychological changes in prey species. This has a positive impact on the landscape, enabling many other plants and animals to flourish. When wolves were reintroduced into Yellowstone National Park in the western United States in 1995, after a 70-year absence, their comeback ignited a chain reaction, boosting the restoration of ecosystems that had been degraded in their absence. Brown Bear The brown bear is easily recognizable, with its broad head, long snout, and small round ears. The animal is unmistakable. Brown bears are the largest terrestrial carnivores in Central Europe. When standing upright, they can reach a height of between 1.7 and 2.2 meters. Depending on the habitat, their weight varies between 100 and 350 kilograms. In all populations, however, the males are significantly bigger and heavier than the females. By nature, bears are very shy creatures. As soon as they detect the scent of a human, they retreat. A suitable habitat, therefore, has to provide not only a rich supply of food, but also sufficient areas for refuge. 
This adaptable, iconic species is present in an astounding array of habitats. They have colonized some of the most challenging landscapes on the planet, from Arctic tundra to tropical rainforests and mountain ranges. Symbols of the wilderness, the bear is most commonly associated with the Great Plains and dense forests of North America. Yet, Europe is now home to more bears than the entire lower 48 states. About 16,000 brown bears live on this continent, many in its more remote regions. But some bears are managing to seek out an existence right on the edge of Europe's most popular tourist spots and well-known cities. Apex predators such as bears and wolves can be among the hardest animals to conserve, especially on a continent as developed as Europe. These animals require large areas of land to roam and a sufficient prey base to survive and flourish. The average home range of a male brown bear, for example, can be 1,000 square kilometers or more. This has always made them difficult and expensive to protect. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.